If you search online for the best places to homeschool, you'll probably find lists that consider the best places to homeschool the places with the least regulation. However, as homeschoolers, we know that regulation isn't the only thing that's important when it comes to homeschooling. And I think I found the best county in the USA to homeschool. First of all, in this county, people receive anywhere between $2,200 to $3,200 if they are homeschooling. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money that you can spend on books, classes, field trips, a whole host of things. Now there's a caveat that you have to be under a public charter school, homeschool program, but there are so many different ones to choose from, some that are more hands-on than others, which I think is a good thing because parents want that choice. By the way, that's per child. So if you have five kids, that's over $15,000 a year you'll get to support their education at home. The second thing is that this county has a well-established community of homeschoolers. That means that there's a lot of meetup groups, there's a lot of tutoring services that cater to homeschoolers, there's a lot of physical homeschool locations where you can take your children to. The YMCA here even has a homeschool program. During the day, a lot of other places, they'll say, yeah, homeschoolers can come, but the hours are after school because they're really after school programs. Here, there are tons of programs for homeschoolers. Also, because of that well-established community and history, there's a lot of choice with how you homeschool in this county. You can choose to have a lot of support from the county or none at all, which is what I choose. I just registered as a private school and nobody talks to me about anything. I don't have to do a homeschool review, zilch, nothing. All I have to do every year is tell them that I'm homeschooling again. That's not big for me. On the other hand, I met a mom the other day who homeschools through the public charter school system and she absolutely loves it. She says that she got to choose her own curriculum and they help her and support her work through that curriculum. There's also the option of doing basically virtual or online school through the public school system where your child is in a class with other kids online. Unfortunately, it's from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m., which is why I didn't choose to do it, but you don't have to choose the curriculum. You don't have to teach anything. It's all certified teachers teaching your children just online and it's free. Although that's not a good choice for me because I don't want my children on the computer all day. That's not why I homeschool. Some people may, they just may want the freedom to move around. Maybe they're a military family. Maybe they just like to travel. And so having that free online thing where they don't have to pay for it, that's amazing. So actually, if you for some reason want to have your child or children at home, maybe they're experiencing bullying or maybe you're just going to be traveling a lot and you don't actually want to teach them or feel like you don't have the confidence to teach them, hey, establish residency in this county or really anywhere in this state and you can have that option. Also, oddly enough, there's a lot of homelessness in this county. So it's actually easier to establish residency and get services since there are a lot of unhomed people here. Three, it has an award-winning park system with over 60,000 acres of parkland, open space, and shorelines, hundreds of miles of trail, which allows you to have this outdoorsy lifestyle, which is great, especially if you want your kids to be little explorers and you want your children to learn from the environment. I love this outdoorsy lifestyle because on days where I feel like my children just need to be out and about, which is most of the time, and let's say I'm not prepared to teach, they're not prepared to do any book work, we just go out, we find the nearest park or wreck or whatever it may be and we see what's there. For example, the other day we found this really cool marine mammal rehabilitation center we dropped by and because it's just such a homeschooly environment, people were not surprised to see kids there by themselves. They came right up to us and started talking to them and giving them a tour of the place and explaining what they did there. The girls learned how they can help save the environment by doing small things like recycling, but also doing bigger things like writing to government officials and making sure we cut down on carbon emissions. So it really takes the burden off of you as a homeschool parent when there are so many programs that are free around to teach kids things. So when you're feeling like, oh, did they learn anything? Well, I know they learned stuff that day and they actually were talking to other kids about it a few days later. 
Also, the people who do not homeschool here are still very education focused and family friendly. So there are a lot of county activities for children that are relatively cheap. Also, if they're not cheap here, they're cheap in the next county over, which is not a very far drive. There's also just so many classes, tutoring centers, STEM centers, Kumon, Russian math, like abacus math. There's just so many different educational entities here. There's a lot of educational research going on here in this county. There are a lot of educational companies who are based here, either in this county or the surrounding area. So it's really educational focus. It is easy to provide your child a good education using the resources here, but you have to use those resources. And of course you have to know about them. It's also very diverse. Now, not that many black people, maybe 3%, not that many indigenous people, probably 0.0000. 1%, but for everybody else, it's a pretty diverse place to be. But I did recently go to the Black History Parade here and I saw so many of us and I connected with a lot of people. So we are here, we are growing. You can find your niche here. Biggest negative about this county is the cost of living. It's extremely high. Rental prices are extremely high. There is a very limited amount of affordable housing units that'll take you forever to get into. If you make Fifty or sixty thousand dollars in this county, you are considered poor. But the weather is almost always perfect. What does that have to do with anything? Well, there are a lot of van lifers here, and a lot of people who choose to live alternatively and not have a mortgage. So when we go out to the beaches, I see kids who live in vans, and no, it doesn't have to be those beautiful, fancy, big, huge vans. Most of the vans I see are minivans or slightly larger vans or older vans that they have converted, not the really expensive conversions, but they've converted these vans into livable spaces and they are living here for free. And although the cost of living is higher, there are plenty of people in this county who make fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000. And no, you're not going to live like you would making fifty or $60,000 someplace else, but you are going to have a roof over your head and you're going to have all the benefits that I just talked to you about. For example, the public library is one place that a lot of unhomed people or van lifers or other people who just don't want to be stuck inside their apartments who homeschool go to. There are 33 public libraries in this county. So if you have not guessed it yet, it is Orange County, California, where I am a resident. So I would highly suggest you come on and visit Orange County, California and see what it's like to homeschool here.